It's now in order to consider amendment number three printed in House Report 114-429. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Texas seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I have amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number three, printed in House Report number 114-429, offered by Ms. Jackson Lee of Texas. Pursuant to House Resolution 619, the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Jackson Lee, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Texas. I thank the gentleman very much. Let me, uh, first of all, thank the Rules Committee for making my amendment in order, and let me thank Mr. Whitman and Mr. Beyer uh, for their leadership on this issue. And let me uh, state for the record, I'm from Texas where there are many fishermen, uh, there are many hunters, and there are many sportspersons. But we're also a people that understand unto whom much is given, much is expected. And my amendment speaks to that very issue. My amendment, no, amendment number three strikes Title III of the underlying bill that creates a loophole in the Marine Mammal Protection Act which would allow a handful of hunters to import polar bear uh, trophies into the United States. Uh, let me uh, provide for my colleagues a simple bit of information. Most people do not know, uh, but polar bears are officially classified as marine mammals and as such are included under the 1972 Marine Mammal Protection Act. They are also listed under the U.S. Endangered Species Act, affording the iconic animals further protection against hunting, trapping, and capturing. But over the past few years, these laws did not stop a handful of wealthy individuals from flying up to Canada to bag a trophy polar bear uh, for their collection back home, even though they were warned that U.S. law would prohibit the importation of skins, heads, and other products from bears uh, they were hunting. In 1994, well-funded hunting interests convinced Congress to amend the act, allowing in a limited number of bears from trophy hunts, but only if the animal came from a designated population that could withstand the loss. Then in 2007, the Fish and Wildlife Service issued a proposed rule to list the polar bear as threatened. This continues, and in the Humane Society letter that is supporting uh, my amendment, it is indicated that, in fact, we may lose two-thirds of the polar bear population by 2070. My amendment is smart, it is right, it is humane. It responds to the conscience and the rightness of this country. I am saddened to see these uh, lovely animals, if I can call them that, to become trophies to make someone else feel good. I ask my colleagues to recognize the importance of taking care of what God has given us. With that, I reserve my time. The gentlewoman from Texas reserves the balance of her time. For what purpose does the gentleman from Virginia seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I rise in opposition to this amendment. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Likewise. Thank you. This amendment strikes a provision of the SHARE Act that will allow the importation of 41 polar bears legally harvested from sustainable populations in Canada before the polar bear was listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. And I'd now like to yield to the gentleman from Alaska, Mr. Young. I thank the gentleman for yielding. The gentleman from Alaska is recognized. It's always interests me when some people try to undo something that's already occurred legally. Legally, these bears were taken under license of the Canadian government. Legally, they should have been allowed to be imported. And then uh, Secretary Kimthorne put the polar bear on the threatened species. They are not endangered. In fact, we have studies now that the polar bear population has increased, not decreased. But the point is, these are 41 hides that were shot legally by individual hunters under the auspices of the Canadian law with proper guiding facilities, proper taxidermy facilities, and these bears are dead. Why would you want to say, and by the way, these dead bears, as they come to the United States, create monies to take and help conserve the rest of the live bears? If I was out buying something and I was given to it and then it was declared illegal later on and I can't keep it, this is silliness. This is a good part of this bill. It rectifies something that was done legally for hunters that did their hunting legally, and now to say we're for humane purposes, for protection of the polar bear, we are not going to allow those 41 hides to come back into the United States that were shot legally. We're not going to collect the money we used to take and save polar bears. 
from these legally shot bears. This is not about the future. And by the way, the Fish and Wildlife sort of likes this program. And I am always amazed about someone who's going to save a species that's not endangered, it's in fact, is not threatened, because they're going to save dead bears from coming into the United States shot legally. I oppose this amendment. It's a mischievous amendment. It's an amendment that was making the Humane Society. Of course they're going to support her amendment. But the fact is, these were shot legally. They should be allowed to be brought back into this country as they were shot under the government of Canada's auspices. So let's take and reject this type of amendment. Let's take and stick to the facts, not some emotional thing. And I yield back. Gentleman from Alaska yields back the balance of his time. Gentleman from Virginia reserves. Uh, gentleman, or gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Chairman, how much time do I have remaining? The gentlewoman from Texas has two and a half minutes remaining. Gentleman from Virginia has two and a half minutes also. Gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. I thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, unanimous consent to place the a letter from the Humane Society in the record, uh, but scientists estimate, as I indicated, that we may lose two-thirds of the polar bear population by 2050, uh, and therefore we as uh, custodians of these uh, very precious animals should do all that we can to protect a vanishing species from extinction instead of incentivizing trophy hunters to kill as many as possible in advance of pending ESA listings. This is a critical measure to ensure the long-term viability of imperiled animals. Let me also cite for the record that the Appeals Court upholds Endangered Species Act protection for polar bears. Let me uh, suggest uh, to my colleagues uh, that we saw an unfortunate circumstance just a few months ago when Cecil the lion uh, was uh, killed out of mistake or I didn't know, uh, but this giant of an animal, this reflection of uh, the idea of, of the importance of the animal kingdom was killed. I introduced H.R. 3448, Cecil the Lion Endangered and Threatened Species Act. It is uh, similar to the amendment that I have today. I ask my colleagues to support it. I reserve my time. The gentlewoman's request will be covered by General Leave. The gentlewoman uh, reserves. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to reiterate something that Mr. Young said. There is a $1,000 importation fee that is assessed on all 41 of these trophies. Those dollars go to polar bear conservation and research. So we're looking to use these efforts to continue uh, the promulgation of this species. We want to make sure polar bear populations continue to grow. Hunters provide, I believe, the largest measure of conservation of any group out there that are looking to preserve polar bears. It's in, it's in everyone's interest to make sure that those, that those things happen. We have a number of groups out there that are in support of this bill. The Congressional Sportsman's Foundation, the National Rifle Association, the National Shooting Sports Foundation, Safari Club International, and the Boone and Crockett Club. All of those organizations deeply committed to make sure that we continue and grow these species. We want to make sure we understand that, but hunters are the best conservationists uh, on the planet because they are involved in making sure the species continue. They use their resources to put into species continuation. They want to make sure these species are properly managed, that we have good science in managing those species. I believe that this is what we want. We want to make sure that we're encouraging that. This. Uh, amendment does not allow us to do that. It strikes those provisions, and I would strongly urge my colleagues to vote against this amendment and reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Virginia reserves the balance of his time. Gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. Uh, let me, and I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, how much time do I have? Gentlewoman from Texas has one, one and a half minutes remaining. There are a litany of organizations that are supporting this amendment, the League of Conservation Voters, uh, uh, the Alaskan Wild Wildness uh, League, Animal Welfare, Born Free USA. Uh, let me just cite, with respect to lions, over the last 75 years we've lost 90 percent of lions because we did not have the restraint, African lions. And so I would make the argument that let us not do that to, uh, to this. When we let go and let free, we'll find out that they'll go beyond the 41. They'll be going after polar bears just for trophies. We need to ban this out of our particular legislation to ensure the protection of all of those. Uh, does the gentleman, I reserve, does the gentleman have any other speaker? Yes, I, I, I reserve to close. Are you the last speaker? Yes, yes. So let me ask my colleagues uh, to take into consideration uh, the importance of our responsibilities of preservation. Uh, trophies, money, 
I can assure you that there are a bounty of humane organizations that will provide any amount of dollars to do the research that is necessary to protect this vulnerable population. They are enlisted on the Endangered Species Act, they are vulnerable, and these trophies should not be an indication of the American people of bringing polar bears who may themselves find uh, that they are extinguished uh, and no longer because we believe that trophies are more important than studying the species, growing the species to the extent uh, that scientists and others can restrain them and uh, make sure that we do have a population within the realm and reason of supporting uh, the uh, echo cycle that we need. I ask my colleagues to support the Jackson Lee Amendment. Uh, with that, I yield. The gentlewoman yields back the balance of her time. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to reiterate that polar bears are not endangered. They're not on the endangered species list. And I want to remind folks, too, these 41 trophies were harvested in Canada. Canada has a world-class management program for polar bears. They've used the best science. And remember, these polar bears were taken in 2008 based upon the science Canada was using to manage the program. Uh, the polar bears in Canada uh, both at the time and now are increasing in population. Canada does a great job in managing this. This is just a situation where polar bears legally harvested under the best management programs available uh, should be allowed to come back in the United States. So I would encourage my colleagues to vote against this amendment uh, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Virginia yields back the balance of his time. The uh, question is on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Texas. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. The amendment is not agreed to. The gentleman with Texas. that, I request a recorded vote. Pursuant to Clause 6 of Rule 18, further proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Texas will be postponed.